You see behind us the Tower of Terror. That means we're at Hollywood Studios. But we're not going to the Hollywood Studios. So now you see behind us the Disney Skyliner. We're gonna go Skyliner touring today. Specifically, we're hoping to go to the Riviera. you head from the Skyliner to the Riviera, there's a really beautiful mosaic arch inspired by Peter Pan. And as you go a little farther, there's a second arch which draws its inspiration from the movie Tangled.
one of the reasons to come to Riviera is simply because we've never been and it's the newest Disney Resort. But they also had a seasonal treat that looked interesting here at Primo Piatto, which is the uh, counter service for Riviera. This is the eggnog cheesecake with vanilla whipped panna cotta, Morello cherry compote, and a milk chocolate Mickey coin. I didn't come for the milk chocolate Mickey coin. So a little of this cheesecake first. Very nutmeggy, which is what I expected. Usually if they say something is eggnog flavor, they mean nutmeg. It's got an interesting cheese flavor. The vanilla panna cotta is very good. It's almost like a... Well, it's not custardy, it's not eggy. It's just very light, creamy vanilla. I really like it. I feel like the cherry is nice and tart, really sour. So I think this is gonna blend beautifully. So let's get a bite. Oh, there's more cherries down at the bottom. More cherries down at the bottom, ooh. Mm. Wow. That's delicious. Seriously, delicious. We may have gotten the last one of the season. We definitely got the last one of the day. I hope they bring this one back. I would come back for that one. That's really good. We're gonna have our second treat on this patio just off of the lobby with this spectacular view of the hotel's courtyard. Our second treat here at the Riviera is from Le Petit Café, a small café off to the side of the lobby. Mostly, like a café, it's coffees, a few other drinks, they do have some alcohol, and they have a small case of little bakery treats. I was told that one favorite is a regular here will probably come back. They are chocolate cream caramel filled profiteroles. But that's not what we got. Today we decided for more seasonal treats. They won't be here much longer, so we may as well. This is a Christmas or holiday candy drop, they call it. It is a chocolate mousse with pistachio and cherry. If I remember the, uh, the description well. We will see when we get into it. Now I forgot to grab, I didn't forget so much, I didn't want to bring my big bag. So I didn't bring my slicer, I didn't bring my wipes, and this thing is covered in red glaze, so it's going to be messy. Luckily there are restrooms right inside and down the hall. <laughs> okay, let's get rid of this coin first because it's not going to divide well. Since it's a mousse, it should come apart. Famous last words, right? That's not too bad. See what I mean about the red? Being a small little cafe like this, they didn't have lots of help. I see a cherry there on the pistachio. Well, that looks good. Look at that, the mousse, pistachio. I can't tell you if the cherries are inside the mousse but it's certainly pretty, very French looking. Oh yes. It's more of those lovely tart Morello cherries. You really mostly taste the chocolate mousse. It's very rich, very chocolatey. Those are things I like. I didn't really get much of a hint of the pistachio but the finish of the tart cherry is very nice. I'm really enjoying this. I really love the eggnog cheesecake, but this really looks good. So I'm gonna give it a shot. Well, 
Well, I can see the pistachio, the green pistachio, and the cherry, and the hazelnut, I guess. It, chocolate, chocolate mousse. Chocolate? Mm -hmm. So I'm really looking forward to it. We're getting attacked by helicopters. I think we're on a flight path for one of the tour helicopter the helicopter tour groups because they're coming in like every five minutes. People must love coming over the Riviera in the helicopters. <laughs> well this is pretty good. It's slippery. I can handle that. I can taste the cherries. They add some texture to it. Actually, I think that the flavor could have been boosted just a little bit. It's a little under... I'm not sure what to say. It's okay. I think on flavor, I'd give it a 7. It's pretty good. It's not great. On presentation, it's really neat looking. I'd give it a 9.5. So would I get this again? No, I don't think I would, but it's good. It's just not great. I think I may have liked the candy drop a little better than Art. I do think the pistachio could have been a little more flavorful. They had some sort of like a sugary shortbread crust on it. Um, sugary because you could actually kind of feel the granules. It could have added a tiny bit of chopped pistachio there and it would have boosted the flavor miles. I still enjoyed it. It was good. Compared to the eggnog cheesecake, though, cheesecake wins hands down. But this was beautiful and tasty. And certainly, if you like chocolate and cherries, get it sometime. I'd probably give it a 7 on flavor. I'd give it a 10 on presentation. It was beautifully done with the little chocolate packaging at the edge, at the end, with like a little ribbon treat. Beautiful. We've had a pretty good time here at the Riviera. It's a beautiful, luxurious, rather mature resort. There's not a lot of wi Disney whimsy here. This is probably the least Disney themed hotel that they have on property, but it is very nice. I'd say the contempt is fairly similar as far as whimsy factor goes. Um, but it is a little bit of a shame that the only thing they really have is the Fantasia area, which is for little kids only. So probably your, your little bit older, your tweens wouldn't care for this as much, but it really is beautiful. The real problem for us is that it is pricey. Very pricey. And it's because it's a DVC, it's a little smaller. It, I mean, they've got the rooms, but the, the lobby's pretty small. So there's not a lot of room for stuff in it. Yeah, no. One, one small shop, one main sit-down restaurant, a couple of um, counter service, that's it. And the counter services are quite small. So we'd probably never stay here anyway, but boy, if you wanted to do nothing but Epcot and Hollywood Studios. This and, would be the place. And you had the money, this would be fantastic. So easy peasy Skyliner to both parks. So definitely a, a, a good opportunity for that if you have the money and if you like a more elegant resort. If you enjoyed this video, give us a big thumbs up. That's the like button. Hit that notification button. We've got more coming up. Subscribe. We need some more subscribers. We always need more subscribers. Tell us what you think. Give us a comment. I love comments. I will come and answer them, I promise. If you're on social media, so are we. Yes, Face we are. <laughs> <laughs> Facebook, I'm not quite as active there because I'm not getting many people with many comments. So it's kind of slow starting. But if you're on Instagram, look us up at Our Life Go. I post a, a photo pretty much every day, videos when we do something like this, just short little bits and pieces as we walk around. If we're not at a park, you might get a photo of a flower in my neighborhood but you'll get something. <laughs> it's a fun way to stay in touch and I'm enjoying just posting what I see. So come on over and say hello. Give me a comment there too. And with that said, I'm Art. I'm Elizabeth. And this is Our, Our Life, Life on, on the, the Go. go.